Hey Gemini's, how y'all doing? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? All right. So this is for my Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I am two of those, so this is for me. <laughs> I ain't gonna tell you which two. Y'all ain't getting my chart information unless you look it up. All right. <laughs> All right, Gemini's. So this is your soulmate reading for October 2018. All right, you guys. So hopefully we're going to see what's going on. Let's get nosy because I'm with it because I'm. this is my reading too. So let's get nosy up in here and see what's going on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right. Don't forget to like this video. Give it a heart. Share it with your other gems, your other gems, okay? All of us gems just coming together in our total duality and twinship like let's let's see what we got going on here all right all right so let me sh uh clean off this deck shuffle through these cards these cards i'm telling you i've been using them non-stop because <laughs> we had a ten dollar reason sale non-stop <laughs> so they need a lot of energy and love. So while I, you know, do this, feel free to send your energy in to, you know, make sure that this cards are responding to your energies as well as my own. Okay, so let's open things up. Call my Archangel Mikael, Uriel, Raphael, and Gabriel to be in the four corners to cleanse and clear this space. I ask that you open up a divine line of communication directly to source and spirit. Okay. Uh, all negative energies be bashed your four corners. Now you're not welcome here. Okay. Ashe. All right. Beautiful. Let's open up these cards and see what they got to say for us. All right. Mm hmm. Interesting. Okay. Can you please give us a soulmate reading for Gemini, 2000, uh, October 2018. Gemini soulmate reading, October 2018. Gemini sun, moon, and rising, as well as Venus. Give us our mates. I don't know why I'm sitting here and boot up is playing in my head, but I feel like we're going to be boot up. I feel the energy of bootness in our vicinity. I don't know why. Right. I feel the energies. Let's be hopeful. <laughs> Let's be hopeful. All right. Romance angels. Can you give us some insight? Into Gemini soulmate reading October. Okay. All right. Okay. So we got some work to do. <laughs> First off, uh, we've got work to do <laughs> in the F and the Y and the I. All right. <laughs> All right, so the first card that comes up for us is balance, okay? And it, it's a boji stone, all right? And it's pertaining to both partners. So it's, it's for us, it's the energy that we're on, okay? But it's also the energy that our partners are contributing or getting in as well, okay? Or kind of really learning to harness or master. So for us, it's this is like a never-ending story, because we often deal with like polarity, okay? Because we're both masculine and feminine energies coming together and one star sign, right? So we deal a lot with duality and the concept of trying to balance things. So um, sometimes when we get off kilter or when we get off balance, it can really uh, disturb the flow of energy for us, all right? So there is some work that we do need to do towards balancing our duality, balancing, you know, ourselves and how our energy is flowing, our moves, our energy, okay? All of this impertinence to creating balanced, healthy relationships for us, okay? All right. 
So the first card that comes up is Brazilianite, which is flexibility. It is upright and open. And this isn't a problem for Gemini. Uh, Gemini really does kind of have the ability to be very flexible mentally. Um, also being you know, flexible in kind of how things flow because we kind of go with the flow energy. Air signs normally tend to kind of be a little bit less on the like controlling side or kind of wanting. Now, that doesn't mean that we don't have other energies that are influencing us that can make us personally that way because Scorpio uh, moon and rising <laughs> but you know we do have some other energies uh, we are we are oh excuse me we can exhibit the energy of free flowedness or allowing things to be what they are so for us right now the key to really navigating our life is to be flexible um and this is something again like I said it's not hard for us to master these things are not hard for us to do and some natural things. I think spirit is guiding us through some of the ways that we naturally are to be able to kind of flow into a healing that we need to flow into that sometimes we may be resistant of. Um, as air signs, sometimes it's hard for us to communicate all of what we feel or really deal with the totality of the emotions because we can be a little bit superficial about how we want to kind of exhibit them or how we want to come off with those things. So to follow up, we have in the emotional area, we have aquamarine, which is communication. Again, one of our strong points as Geminis, and it's in the emotional area. So we are actually mastering that area of communicating, communicating our ideas, communicating our wants, our needs in the emotional area. What is it that we really want from love? Are we being honest about what it is that we want from our partners if we're in partnership or what we want from a partner if we're speaking our intentions out into the universe about what it is that we need from the mates that we are trying to attract or the higher uh, spiritual soulmate that we're trying to attract? That communication is so key, especially if you've got a Gemini and Venus, okay? This is a key thing. If you're Gemini and Venus, this is a really big thing for you because when the, your partner doesn't communicate with you, that's like, psh, <laughs> no, okay? It's not going to work, all right? So like I was saying, this energy here is very, very important. It's open and it's upright. So be communicative of what about what it is that's bothering you. What are the things that, you know, you've wanted to express emotionally? And this could be in all relationships, not just romantic relationships. What are the things that we need to let go of, you know, heal from? What are the things that we need out of our partnerships and out of our relationships that will make us more healthy and more happy as holistic? beings okay so um, spiritually we have the card uh, Tanzanite which is clarity it's upright so we're moving into a space of spiritual clarity so spirit really is working with us on the ability to balance our feelings and our emotions when it comes to love okay um, not looking at it from a perspective of idealism or pessimism but really having that balanced perception between learning the past um, you know, mistakes or things that we need to heal from and learning how to let go of any of the negative issues around those areas inside of our lives, but also bringing us into clarity about what it is that we do want from relationships, what it is that we do need from relationships. I see a lot of positivity and optimism around relationships right now. Um, if you're not in that space as a Gemini, it's okay. That space is coming for you. So take some of those hints, be a little bit more flexible, be a little bit more communicative and more open about what it is that you need and you'll pop right into your own alignment about those areas for yourself, okay? The Sunstone card is coming up on the area of our soulmate or a partner. And Sunstone, which is empowerment, is coming up here in the physical area. So our partners are feeling empowered wherever they are, if they're with with us in relationship right now or if they're somebody who we're spiritual communion with they are feeling empowered in their physical life to be able to do what it is that they need to do for themselves they're feeling like they're on a path or they're on a journey where they're getting into a space where it's like yes i'm finally understanding this especially in the physical areas this could be finances this could be health this could be what anything that pertains to the physical life or physical realities these things they're becoming more empowered and more 
motivated inside of because this energy is really just allowing them to rub up their confidence, rub up their uh, magnetism, rub up their energy as far as producing the things that they really want to see, manifesting the results that they really want to see inside of their lives. And that's attractive, especially to a Gemini energy. We like the energy of people who are movers, shakers, thinkers, and builders. We like people who are manifestors because that energy excites us and it it stimulates our energy to want to be creative as well, okay? So the fluoride card, which is learning, comes up in the emotional area. So whoever our partner is, they're learning how to cope with their emotions. So this is beautiful. So if we're communicating with this person about what our emotional needs are, they are learning how to really hear what we're saying, hear the energy that we're communicating to them, heal, hear how we need for them to be. So if you had issues in the past with this partner or this person where it's like they didn't get whatever it is that you were trying to communicate with your needs being in the emotional area this person is coming into a place where they're learning how to harness their emotions balance their emotions as well as learning how to hear what we have to say about our emotional realities as well so the final card that comes up for them is cooper right which is rites of passage and this is in the spiritual energy so wherever they are whether they're in relationship with us or not they are in the space of moving into a higher version of themselves they are not extremely they're not fully aware of it yet and they haven't fully hit that point now they're letting go of the past they're letting go of their old energies and they're letting that energy wind up because it's no longer going to serve who they are becoming and who they're going to be so they're going to be in a state of transformation spiritually while we're learning how to get clearer about what it is that we need to manifest so the final card is conflict and it's inverted and it's still benign so this is actually a good card so if there was any conflict inside of the relationship between you and your soulmate or you and your spiritual uh, partner or your relationship partner, if there was any level of conflict about communicating ideas or really having a balanced, healthy relationship, this will be winding itself up, okay? That energy is petering itself out that energy is no longer staying in that area of your relationships so healthy relationships is really the theme of the day here we're trying to build healthy happy hearty relationships and that looks like it's going to be something that's going to be coming into fruition for us quite soon so here is a card that comes up in the near past it's trust and it says this situation is calling for you to have faith it's inverted excuse me it's inverted Oh, sorry. Hold on. Actually, the bottom of your deck for the crystal um, spread was also relationship healing. I thought I, you know, put that in there as well. So some of the balance that we need to do is around relationship healing. So that really is going to kind of play itself out inside of the romance angels cards. You'll see a little bit more of what I mean by that. So the trust card comes up inverted again, like I said, in the near past position. And this card is saying that it's been hard for us to trust. Other people might have been hurt by certain situations or past experiences in relationships and there may just not have been the right communication or with especially with soulmates or spiritual partners. There may not have been the communication or the love or the trust really built there that each of us needed to be able to feel safe inside of that relationship. There was um, a lack of stability, a lack of balance inside of that um, and this may have made the relationship heater itself out or you know kind of fade into the background for whatever reason so the current energy that we have is love yourself first okay love yourself first and this says your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive so really we're concentrating on loving us right now we're concentrating on doing what it is that we need to do whether you're in a relationship or outside of a relationship it doesn't matter you're concentrating on doing that inner work and that's why a lot of the other areas kind of are open for you right now Gemini because you're really focusing on healing you healing yourself and healing your um your love wounds or different things that have kind of come up for you okay so Venus is in retrograde like I said 
So this is really making us be introspective about our ideas of relationships, how we view relationships and how we view um, loving relationships and romantic relationships. OK, so this like again, like I said, it's about loving ourselves and having that respect that we need to take care of ourselves to really heal the relationship that we have with ourselves. Um, you know, getting into our spirit, getting into our physical, getting into our mental, like we're clearing, rehauling, reassessing, redoing, taking care of our health, taking care of our bodies, taking care of our minds, taking care of our spirits really here is the energy that's coming up for us as Geminis. Okay. So the final energy here is in the future and it says release your ex and it says the time has come for you to clear your energy so again like i said there's a lot of relationship healing that has to take place with past relationships um we really need to heal that area and i've actually been very vocal about this on my page lately i'm definitely needing to do some healing in this area um you know, a lot of times we go through different situations. And again, I can only speak for myself, but as myself as a Gemini, I tend to compartmentalize, okay? I tend to be like, oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, I'll deal with that emotion later because I'm busy right now and I've got A, B, C, and G to do. And it's illogical to feel this way right now in my Spock moment of life. You know, I turn into a Vulcan and I'm like, these emotions are illogical, okay? <laughs> so, you know, sometimes it can be hard to really move through the full emotional healing and t finding the space to open up and feel safe about opening up about what the emotional energies are and being honest like being like look this pissed me off this made me angry this was something that hurt me this was why did this situation hurt me why did I hold on to this situation why did I let allow this relationship to last for so long or why did I allow myself to get to this relationship or get this predicament in the first place and what are the realities of that and if you're in relationship with somebody in a healthy relationship with somebody right now, the energies may still uh, invite you to want to explore what your past energies are, what your past hurts were so that they don't come up again and revisit your healthy or happy relationship. So that's the energy there. Okay. <laughs> Bottom card is you deserve love. You are lovable. So we're lovable. Okay. We have to really work on understanding that we are and we deserve love and not just based off of how much we can give to others or how much um you know others kind of treat or validate us it really has to be something that comes from the inside out okay so that's the energy for us gemini sun moon rising as well as venus Okay, so that's our soulmate energy for October 2018. If you like this video, don't forget to like it and share this video with other gems. Okay, if you are interested in getting a personal reading done, go ahead to GeminiHolistics.com slash services. We also are having a 70% off sale on all services as well as products. So make sure you go on over and check us out, GeminiHolistics.com. Use the code esu 999 to get that uh 70 discount on anything literally crystals readings reiki all of it it's all there so get your entire life if you're anything like me and you're a frugal gem and you want to save make sure you go ahead and take advantage of that if this is on uh youtube and you're on youtube don't forget to like share as well as subscribe to our youtube channel make sure you hit the bell notification so that you're aware of when we upload new content and i just just wish you guys so much love so much peace and so much blessings thank you for sharing this space with me my fellow gems and i will get back to you guys with the final remainder of the zodiacs of soulmate readings which will be cancer through virgo that'll be coming up sometime throughout the week all right love you guys so much peace and blessings and enjoy the rest of your day Bye bye